Hey, what is going on everybody? Jerma here with the Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. And tonight, gonna be playing as the demo man with the lock and low. That's not the low. Whoa, 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 easy. Oh, I'm, I'm so used to saying that when I play demo that I, I just said it. No, this is the loose cannon. Loose cannon, eyelander, and tide turner, which is pretty standard at this point to have the tide turner on because it is so good. But loose cannon... Just had the urge to play with it. Just felt like throwing it on, get some kills, get some glorious double dunk Dorito, double stuffed Oreos. And it's gonna sit in the background like it typically will when we discuss some things, in particular in a commentary style, like you're seeing right here, which I haven't done in quite a while, so I figured why not. And today's topic of today's video is when you find yourself in a situation where you can't think about anything, your brain is empty, because there's too much stuff to think about. I'm gonna try to make that make sense. What I just said, I'm gonna try to make it make sense. And that's kind of the point of this video, is slipping into a mindset where I've been recently, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have been there as well, where your brain is just constantly, constantly thinking about things, running at a thousand miles per hour with everything that's going on in your life currently. And it makes it so difficult for you to focus on really anything at all. And now these things could be good and bad things at the same time. And, and they just pull up in a giant caravan. The mother gets out of the fucking car, pulls open the door, and like a bunch of kids come in and jump into the public pool that is your brain. And maybe one of the kids, maybe one of the kids is like, is uh, a problem that you're having. You know, he jumps in the fucking pool and he, he has his sneakers on for Christ's sake. What was that? You just heard you just, uh, some crashing noise behind you. Somebody knocked over the hot dog stand. It is. It's, it's a kid running around the pool. You're like, hey, no running at the pool, please. And, and another kid just jumps in, and you're like, oh, well, who's? What was that? What, what just happened? Oh, that was a, a new job opportunity. But, but wait a second, you just pissed in the pool. That kid just pissed in the pool. Oh god damn it! I oh, I gotta go. I gotta get like the chlorine. Everybody out of the pool, and then like two more kids jump in, and that's like something that else that could be going on in your life and your whole brain then all of a sudden you close the pool you say everybody out of the fucking pool because I've got to deal with this and everybody gets out of the pool they all pile back into the caravan and then they all they take off and then you're just kind of left with an empty pool I don't know how much sense that just made probably none at all but let me translate it in as best way that I possibly can Instead of emptying the pool, instead of instead of not doing anything and just kind of drifting back into I oh, I don't know I don't give a shit about it whatever, try to ground yourself and deal with each thing as it comes to you at one at a time. Otherwise, you're just gonna drive yourself batshit crazy. And it, I, I can't I can't even tell you how many times I've been in a situation, guys, where I've had a ton of stuff to deal with and a ton of stuff to think about that. I just, I throw it all off to the side, and I just, I'm too overwhelmed to even think about doing any of the things that I've wanted to do or wanted to say or uh, deal with the bad things that are happening. It, you never want to tackle everything at the same time, and as much as sometimes that can be unavoidable, and that's one of the main problems with life in general, guys, is sometimes it's unavoidable. Sometimes you just have a bunch of shit that is going on at the exact same time, that you're just, you don't, it's hard to not just open the pool and let everybody jump in. And like I said before, if this made no sense at all, I'm gonna listen to this back and I'm gonna be like, what, why do they, why would they ever wanna take advice from me? I just told them there was a fucking pool party going on in my brain. Like, so they're gonna think I'm crazy. <laughs> no, alright, ground yourself, get grounded. We're gonna move on from that, I just wanted to uh, throw that out there because there's been a whole lot of stuff going on in my head recently. Both good and bad. But remember, this is not um, talking about like, oh, how everything is so bad, everything is so bad. No, no, no. It's just when you have a too much to think about and too many things going on at the same time, you can it can rack your brain. And that was the point of what I just said. Don't worry, I'm fine. I hope all you guys are fine as well. How have you all been? Hopefully great. But let's move on. I'm going to talk about PAX Prime now because I'm going to PAX Prime. I will be there all four days. I can't believe it's actually four days. It was four days last year, too, which is crazy to think about that they're going on, like, almost a full work week. Five days, almost, for PAX. And some people show up days earlier and stay days later, and that's, like, almost an entire week, and it's it's a lot. But I'll be there. I will see you guys there. If you are going and you want to come say hello, please do not hesitate 
to say hello. I say this every time a PAX comes around that I'm going to. But please, if you see me and you want to say hello, please do it. Please, I'm telling you, I will sit there and we'll talk for a little bit. I'll chat with you. And I'll do a meetup too. Check my Twitter. Probably on Sunday afternoon, that's when it'll be happening. And that's pretty much all I gotta say about PAX. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be exciting. Could you guess that's one of the things that's currently on my mind right now? Probably, but uh, that's gonna wrap the video up, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. And take care of your pools. Take care of your pools. Make sure there's no, like, algae growing at the bottom of your pool, because then you gotta get that vacuum, and you gotta scrub them. It never really works that well, scrubbing, like, the vacuum at the bottom of the algae, and, the, and then there's, like, the bugs that get in there. Get those bugs out of that pool. Get the bugs out of there. That's, I mean, that's gross. Nobody wants those little bugs in the pool. And hey, before you come in the pool, just step in that little gross bucket of water to wash your feet up. Okay, by the way, before this video ends, what is that? How come that ha- why, why do we have that bucket of gross, like, sewage water that never seems to get cleaned that you're supposed to step into and then go into the pool? What? That's like, that's like making you more dirty before you get in the pool, isn't it? Like, we, who, somebody clean that fucking sewage water. It's disgusting. <laughs>